welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at the bisection method for finding the roots of the equation. Just to mention, I've already done the Newton Rapson in MATLAB using a while loop, so if you want to look that up, it's there. And just to get one other thing out of the way, I took this example from this website here, so I just want to give those chaps the the full credit to the intellectual property rights okay excuse me <coughs> so we have the script here and um, we've declared the function 2.5 x squared minus 3x plus a half okay so it's an anonymous function it's not saved but it's just there anonymous with there the initial low is 0.1, the initial high is 0.5, and we want to get within the fifth decimal place. So four naughts, one. We call the function. The function is called by a section. We pass in the actual function, the low value, the high value, and the tolerance. Okay, we look at the function here. Not going to go through it in great detail. We get y1 and y2. That's the a uh, function evaluator at the low and the function evaluator at the high using the MATLAB function f eval. Okay, so remember the function is 2.5x squared minus 3x plus a half. So we bang in uh, 0.1, we bang in 0.5, and that's our iteration counter there. Zero. We check, I'm leaving out the detail maths, we just check that they cross, that the y1 and y2 are neither both positive nor both negative because we need to cross the x-axis scroll down a little bit give you a chance to look at it there there's the whole while loop so we keep looping while the difference between the the high and the low or the new highs and the new lows as we go along is greater than four knots one and remember we have to use abs abs is for absolute because it could be minus 0.4 or plus 0.4 or minus 0 0.006 or plus 0 0.006 so we have to absolute it there so we just increment the counter there there's our midpoint y3 is the f of al on the first loop that would be 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 so that would be 0 0.25 so we evaluate 0.25, etc. If y3 is zero, bang on the nose zero, we've ha we have found the root. And then if it isn't, we just update the limits there. And we keep looping and looping and looping until we get the correct answer. Just go back to here. Let's just run this. We don't see my command window, so Control shift m will there control shift m there and there we have it and that's it done quite simply and i hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening